Yo, yo, what's going on guys, your boy Apathy, back with another video, and today's video is going to be how to become better, episode 5, my last episode until further notice, maybe in the near future, I'll add some more, but I did say it was going to be 5 episodes, 5 videos, and today we're going to be talking about how to become better in positioning, positioning is such a huge thing when it comes to Call of Duty, when it comes to, you know, especially more traditional Call of Duty, even though I know War Run's implemented in this game, you know, game types like CTF being back, which is a high respawn delay, uh, you know, you positioning is key. Positioning is so important. AW with the whole boosting thing, it was a little bit more random, but in this game, it's not as random. Even though with wall running, you know, positioning is so important in this game. And you know, just get cuts, get spawns, you know, power spots, all those things. So in this video, we are playing CLG. You guys can see we're dominating them. I'm 18 to 12. You know, we're all playing great. Uh, eight to two right now in the score. Three minutes remaining. And, you know, at this point, you're like, shit, you're, you're fine. The only way you can fuck up is if you get spawn trapped. And guess what? That's exactly what happens with us. So we're going to end up losing this game, and I really want to break it down as as much as I can to show you guys. So when it comes to this right side, what you always want, there's like, I would say, like four layers. And these four layers are extremely important. It starts from ball. We end up stopping. We end up getting a point. But it starts from ball as one layer, a.k.a. glass. Then it goes to pillar. And then it goes to AC, and then it goes to our point. If we lose all four layers, we're fucked. Then that's a, that's a 100% a of spawn trap. So right here, me and Study are pushing up. We're in the we're in the second layer, the pillar, which is a really important position, really important power spot. We have to hold this. E even if it goes down to AC, we have to hold that. Because if they get control of those three and they end up killing us in the spawn, we're getting spawn trap. So right here, you know, me and Sunny are holding Merc went mid, not a bad play. We don't want to all be three right now, right side, with no one in B mid at all. I don't know what Merc's doing. I kill the kid that kills Study. I get flanked with BL Fire. He does a little wall run, comes up with a pistol. Now my man, BL Fire uses a pistol like every time. Like gets two kills with a pistol. When we were playing him the other day, he uses a pistol all the time. I thought it was a perfect gameplay because I want to show you exactly why they came back and because of positioning. So right here, Study. Burns is in a decent spot. You know, he decided to cap this instead of push up earlier. Let me show you guys real quick. So, I ended up getting shot. So, I'm still alive. I just died, right? I died. Merc is still middle. Merc picked up a kill. Now, Burns instead of just, like, dashing off the ledge and helping him. Because you want to control that second layer. Which I thought, it wasn't the worst play. But I thought it, that would have been a better play. You know, I talked to him about it. You know, he decides to stay here. Merc dies immediately. And he decides to camp it, you know, let's see what's going to happen. He's trying to make a play. I personally wish he would have pushed up to a pillar. That way, Study could rotate in. Maybe he kills a ball guy or kills a, another guy defending the ball guy, and they could stop this push. I think that would have been a lot better play. But it's all good. He does his thing. They smoke out. He pushes down because he knows he has to with the smoke. And he has to get taken out either way, and then Study dies. Now, at this point, you know, I believe I got a kill. I don't even know where. All right, so I killed one guy in the back. I decided to push up. You know, I got to make a play. I picked a two-piece, but at this point, they already got a one. And now they still have pillar and AC control. Right here, Merc dies on the alley. I, You got to rotate to the back to the ball. Like, if, if they're especially on the pillar already, and they're praying down the alley, most of the time, they're going to lose. They have, like, a barrel head glitch. You know, we needed the fucking fourth layer. It's Think about it as layers, guys. Fourth layer, ball. Third layer, AC. Second layer, pillar. For last layer, on the ball itself, on glass. That's the way you got to look at it, because... It's, positioning is so important on this right side. Now, we're up 8-2, right? They have a spawn trap going. Uh, they already got two points in a row. Now, we decided to rotate back, but they have the fucking fourth layer. They have our spawn. So, right here, we try to do something. Uh, kinetic armor, they're all in our base. Nothing we can really do. So, now we decide, I believe we decided to OE. We know we're going to give them two, whatever. You know, it's not the worst thing. Uh, we'll be tied at least, and we'll have some decent ball control. Merc dies in spawn. I decided to play a little bit sneaky. Uh, you know, wait. I know a guy uses vision post right now, but I'm like, fuck it. You know, I gotta get these kills right here. Vision post guys didn't hear me either way. I pick up this kill and immediately aim in the middle. Uh, complex tries to the vision post guys just slide down and kill me. Uh, get some headshots and I'm too dead. And I die by an RC car. Fucking ATXD's cars, man. They're the worst in the world. So, tied A8 now. We have no control over spawn. We're still fighting for a spawn. Uh, I like the per. I believe that's uh, Study. I like what Study did. He went, instead of cutting through the left and going laundry and all that shit, he went all the way around behind the pillar, behind the, the L wall, whatever you want to call that, behind laundry. Went all the way around, and he's trying to regain the fourth layer. Kills Fellow in there with the RC car. 
And we pretty much, you know, he has somewhat control of our spawn. Now, this is good. He might die here. I don't think he might die. All right, so that's that's a good play for study. That's what more people have to do. Instead of cutting this left side, it's not going to work. Like, people need to know that. So I ended up dying by the RC card that study killed. Now it's 8-8. Eight, eight, now it's 8-9. So as you guys can see, due to positioning and losing full control of the right side, and, you know, it's not playing it well, not holding it as well as we could have, it just shows how important positioning is. It just shows that, you know, it's so crucial how good positioning could be. So right here, they're all on the right side. I try to do some wall run, but they want me to die because if, if I drop the ball or just throw the ball out, there they can make a play. You know, I ended up dying by accident, but it still worked in our favor because they it, they had a full right control. I believe we get a one now and tie. Let's see this. And I'm about to show you guys over time. So now we're tied. So they ended up coming six points in a row or seven points back, and we ended up tying. Now we're about to lose... Uh, some somewhat positioning. I think Merc dies, Merc dies pillar because he gets rushed. Burns gets a nice two piece, but it isn't enough. You know, at least he stopped the ball, bought us some time. I decided to go right side. I decided to immediately rush this guy because if he's going, if, if I go in front of him, you, there's a huge chance I might intercept him. A lot of you guys know you can intercept the ball as soon as they throw it. So right here I go, I grab it mid air. He, he was going to win it. I grab it right in front of him. 9-9, nine, nine. I tried running out because I want to make a play. You know, there's there's like, what, um, there's like 25 seconds left. Though, only bad part is Tubas died, but I think Merc grabbed the ball and he dipped. He ended up dropping it, and we got three dead, nothing could do, and we just tied. So, you guys saw, due to positioning, due to losing that right side, we lost complete control of, of our spawn. They got us in a nasty spawn trap, and they came back all because of that. So, think of it like if we held our right side, and we held our positions, and we held it good... This would have never happened. Now, before I show you overtime, I really want to be, I want to tell you something, guys, real quick. So, positioning is everything, right? You know, I'm telling you guys right now, like, how important pillar is, how important, like, uh, I'm going to tell you guys how important overtime is right now with the ball and the, and the uh, breakthrough, uh, off the break plays. And, you know, this is something you guys have to learn on yourself. Like, obviously, I'm telling you this map and these sword spots, but on, there's good positioning and power spots on every map, on every hill. You know, that's things you guys got to learn. That's things you guys got to play through or just watch pro players and see what they're doing, see what they're doing right, see what they're doing wrong, see what they're holding. You know, that's homework for you guys. I can't sit here and tell you every single spot, every single power spot, every single position because that'll take hours. That's all you guys. That's all your homework. That's if you want to become better. That's very good to do, very good to know. So right here, off the break, there's obviously you do the mid strat. Mid strat, what it consists of is two people go middle, Two people go right, they grab ball immediately, cut middle, and then either go all the way around or go down this hallway for one. We didn't play it how we should have to stop it. Our positioning was awful, and that's why we're going to lose this. So I, two of us go middle. Now, the way you want to counter his left side, because usually people are going to just fucking grab the ball and dip. Two people coming right now. Somebody should have pushed up with a sub and completely and fought the ball right away, and someone should have watched with AR. Said they're both going to watch with ARs, and uh, this is going to grab the ball. Because look, see, boom. Grabs the ball. Study wasn't even looking at it. Merc came late. And then uh, Shooter um, shooter Burns. Burns dies middle. I'm stuck middle. And then I will go back to try to help. They're all, we're, all, like, we're all just trying to stop this. I ended up, I believe I killed Fellow, but it wasn't enough because the ball guys dips. Who Who's in her base? Is that Burns? Dude, I... Ah, I... Oh, yeah, he can stop that. And look at that. Due to our positioning off the break and not position yourselves good enough they immediately get points and it's just that's the way it is on certain maps it could be more effective on certain maps your positioning is off it will, it will give it will do better with it so like i hope you guys understand you know they ended up winning we did not win we just fucking ended up losing after having such a huge leak it's oh it's only a scrim but it just shows how important you know positioning is and that we got to practice that because sometimes we're not our positioning is not as good we still have like a week and a half left for practice, so it's not the worst thing ever. But, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, positioning is extremely important. I hope you guys understand that from this video. You know, I try to give you guys the best example I could. And I hope you guys learned some new things. So, this has been your boy Apathy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Peace.